So what's happening in questions one through four is we're slowly going through all of the possible transformations that could happen. Just a little review. The vertical stretch and vertical compression, that would be your A value. Well, that affected the amplitude of our graph. And what we're doing is we're looking at our sine and cos graph to develop a shortcut. So the first shortcut we noticed is that the A value affected our amplitude. We are on page 518. And then our B value, we noticed that affected our period. In fact, we even created special formulas for the period for sine and cos is 2 pi divided by your B value. And for tan, it was pi divided by our B value. Example three here, we're looking at a phase shift. So we're going to do the phase shift and then graph it to see what happens. So first of all, the phase shift, you would say it's inside. This is going to be a horizontal translation. We're going to go pi over 6 to the right. No problem. Now, for graphing this, the way that we're going to do all of our translations left and right is we're first going to draw our graph with a normal period. So our cos graph has a normal period of 2 pi. Remember, we always do all of our axes family, which causes us to divide 2 pi into four equal sections. Has a maximum of 1, negative of a minimum of negative 1. And our sinusoidal axis is at y equals 0. For a coast graph, where does a coast graph start? So, so you're going to notice, like if we go back to our pictures that we drew earlier, you're going to notice me saying that for our coast graph, I won't say it starts at 1. I'm going to say it starts at a maximum. And for our sine graph, I'm not going to say it starts at 0. I'm always going to say for my sine graph, it starts on my sinusoidal axis going up. Those values can change. So I'm starting to try to use my language already for what our shortcut is going to be later on. So for a coast graph, always starts at a maximum. For a sine graph, always starts on the sinusoidal axis going up. So on our graph here, it's a cos graph, starts at a maximum. And I'm just going to draw, OK, maximum, then center line, then minimum, then center line, then maximum. Just going to draw it in a dotted line here. That's our coast graph. And then we're going to do the same thing in our shortcut. Whenever we have a horizontal translation, we're going to draw our graph first without the horizontal translation and then say to ourselves, if I wanted to go pi over 6 to the right, where would that be? Okay, Where do I mark pi over 6 on this scale? Pi over 2 is 90 degrees. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees. Does it make sense that I would need to take this first section and do one third of it to get pi over 6? A little bit of mental math there to figure out where pi over 6 is on my scale. And if I'm moving pi over 6 to the right, I'm going to take each of these ticky marks and move them pi over 6 to the right. That'll mean that this point, my maximum, shifts over to here. This point on my axis, sinusoidal axis, will shift there. This minimum point will shift here. This point will shift there, and this point will shift there. Shifting each of those points over we can draw our final curve. On a sine or a coast graph, something to be aware of, 
each of your curves needs to be rounded. If you draw it with sharp points, it doesn't have the right shape. Any kind of shape error on an exam or a test is always a half mark deduction. So a sine or coast graph is nicely curved. If you use the right kind of pen, whenever you make a mistake, it just disappears, right? 2 plus 1 equals 4. Is that right? Or is 2 plus 2 equals 4? Maybe 1 stays, but oh, that one's wrong. Works out nicely. It's a very smart, it's, it's teacher proof. I make mistakes, they just erase. If I don't make a mistake, I'm not quite sure yet if 2 plus 2 is 4, but it seems to be correct because it's staying there. Okay, questions for practice on this one? R3, E, and F. So now I've assigned all of three. I would suggest, I know three is just asking specific questions, but I would suggest graphing each of those questions in number three as well. 